Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, yeah, last episode we did some upgrades. We got a tier 4 detonator, and we got a tier 4 catalyst. And that tier 4 catalyst, sorry, sorry is doing great. Like, look at the power output on that tug. 800 watts. It's amazing. I'm currently generating 2.5 grand right now, and the power supply is actually turned off right now. So maybe we'll start turning some things on. The uh, ship's got to be on. Uh, definitely. Uh, cargo bay doesn't need to be. Uh, solar panels I like to keep off. Just kind of redundant having power turned on if they're generating power. I guess everything else is okay. Uh, again, we're still generating so much power. It's crazy. Uh, I'd like to get some more containment field generators made. And uh, a few people have been mentioning about checking out things like the storage facilities and uh, uh, the auxiliary post or whatever it is outside of Everest. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I have avoided those places in the past because uh, one, turrets in the past were, I won't say common, but they were a thing. And back then, another thing that was a thing was turrets actually shooting through walls. Which was never good. You got within 20 feet of the door and you were dead. So that's why I haven't really been going around them. But ooh, being in the sing ooh, single player offline, apparently offline, but not technically offline because it does communicate with a game server. Uh, but I have the option to save and reload. So. Before I go check a place out, do a quick save. If something goes wrong, I can reload. And you can call it cheating. I can play. I can say it's exploiting a game mechanic. Now, if you want to do hardcore, sure. Yeah. Well, that's what the the online's for. Uh, speaking of online, uh, if you remember Tricorder. Uh, we're trying to work out possibly getting a private server going going on because one of the, the disadvantages, as I have mentioned before, oops, I forgot to open the door, of uh, being offline is we don't get the despawns. Like uh, stuff doesn't despawn or decay when we're offline. And that becomes a bit of an issue because then we have to be online for stuff to despawn or we go out with, go out with a bang and take some grenades with us. Yeah, we should be plenty of fuel in there. Alright, so I think the first place we're going to go is go to Everest. Maybe I can find a part of the Protea suit, if that's still a thing there. Let's get away from the station. The last thing I need is any more damage to repair. Alright, so, do a quick scan here, see if maybe it shows up. So we have the refinery there, we have the two refineries. But I think we'll go to Everest first. Because we have a storage facility, which is in the debris field. Ooh. Risky. That's why we have that's why we can save. Now let's see how fast I can get there. Forty seconds. That's that's not too bad. I think it was like a, a minute before. I could probably fine tune it a little more. And I'm going to miss it. Oh. Oh, that was a close one. Anyway, I'll see you there. And here we are. And I think we're just leaving the debris field. So we should be okay. I got a couple of full jetpacks on me. So I shouldn't have an issue. Uh, I will be saving before I step out this door. I guarantee that. Uh, side note: uh, Yesterday I was I was online with Tricorder. We were trying to check out a private server. Needless to say, we had lots of issues. Oh, we're gonna have issues, and uh, I ended up taking a screenshot. Uh, from the crew quarter through the window, and I, it was a picture of Burner, sort of mostly in view. And I, <laughs> I put the caption, I posted on Twitter. I see a bad moon rising. 
And so far, even though I rarely tweet, I've already had like three or four retweets and like ten likes on it. I always say this, this game was made for screenshots. Okay. Oh. Before I forget. Alright, now. This stuff's just flying by me. Alright, now I was told I can actually find these things on the outside of this place. Uh, I don't know if they're talking about just floating around, but I see a lot of debris. We have two cargo bays here. Wow. And there's probably going to be some turrets somewhere. Would not be surprised. Got a fabricator here. Cool. Alright, let's go in. Let's go in and meet her demise. I think this is where they were talking about the circuits being was in these derelict modules that are around. I got this feeling I'm gonna go back and find my ship gun. Ooh, I'll take ooh. That was definitely worth it. What else we got here? Uh, take the containers. That was a really good find. Ooh, and a uh, new servo. So I got gravity. No, I don't. Make sure there's no turrets anywhere. Well, he would have been right there. Uh, let's see. It's over here. Besides a quick save. <laughs> Ooh, fabricator. Anything good in here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's payday. All right, everything else I can leave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Screw the container. I don't care about the container. Oh, oh. Is this the full suit? Suit, jetpack. And helmet. Nice. I'm out of here. Don't care about anything else. I want to get back to the ship so I can put this on. Oh, my heart's just a racing right now. Oh my god. Score. Where's the ship? Where's the ship? Alright. I'm going to go do a swap out on this and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm all switched over. Oh. I had to make sure I was actually recording. I almost had a bit of an incident. I took my jetpack off, left my helmet down, and almost suffocated. Fun, fun. Anyway. Let's go out and see what we can find. I have done another save, just in case. But it looks like we're nearing the end of the field here. So I've been up at that end. Uh, anything down there with work goal? I should go back to the sand here and I'll work my way through. Uh, I kept all the good stuff on the ship just in case. Oh, there's those circuits. Ooh, there's a couple of them. Nice. I can't remember your name, but whoever mentioned this, both of you, thank you. It was actually a good, good idea to come here. So far I haven't run into a turret, but my luck could change at any time. Take that, good. Best thing is I've already got some tier two stuff already from here. Oh, and there's another circuit. Huh. And I had no idea. Okay, what else we got? All right, that's it outside. That's all I really care about. Oh, there's two more I missed. They are literally everywhere. Wow. Okay, now we go in. Or do we check the other side just to be safe? No, it's just a welding gun. I don't care. Alright, let's get in. And I think I am upside down. Okay. So I went to the right, so 
so now I'm just going to go straight on through and see what I can find. Ooh, I'm all over the place. Okay, now we go. So we went to the right, took care of that. I don't care about the... I will take that, though. I think having them colored like that might be a little too much. Like, I understand... Oh, look at this resource injector, too. Yeah, I can understand having the, the name colored. But do you really need to have pink painted? I'm almost curious to see if there's anything else I missed in here. I don't care. There's plenty more of this thing to explore before my ship blows up. And we have gravity. Awesome. I uh, don't care any of that. Uh, who cares about ammo? Alright. Okay, where are we? Cargo bay. Hello? Good. Nobody here. First time I've ever seen two of them dock together like this. I just want to make sure there's no turrets around. Good. Let's check the boxes. You never know what's going to be in here. Ooh, I'm having a good day. Let's see what else we can find. Very good day. Wow, they really made it worthwhile coming here now. Like, you seriously got everything you ever need. Just about. I don't know if we still have those in the game or not. Uh, I don't know whether the EM field generators. I don't know why. Oh, my heart, heart is running like a hamster right now. Kind of nervous about being in here. Probably because I'm in a little bit of debris field right now. Alright, let's go check to the side. See what else we got in here. Okay. No turrets. Any more goodies? Mm, doesn't look like it. Right now, if it's not not silver, I'll take it. And what else we got? What do we got on the shelves? Uh, just resources. I don't care. It's pretty much anything with circuits now. It's what I care about. Ooh. What I could use though is catalysts. Speaking of catalyst, because those are for, oh my god, I am having a really good day. Wow, holy jeez. Circuit City for sure. Hmm. Houston, we have a problem. What do I get rid of? Nothing. I'm going to have to come back. Uh, let's see. What side is the ship on? This side. Can I open this door? Oh, I can. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to do a run to the ship. Come back. And I'll see you shortly. Okay, I'm back. Had a bit of an inventory management issue and a bit of a hull breach. So let's go back. So is this door I opened, I do believe? Yes, I opened a closer one. Now I got my light still on. Wow, why is everything rotating like this? And I'm upside down. Of course I am. Okay, let's get in there. So far it's been a great haul. If we just get in there. There we go. I have no idea what's going on. And... Let's get back to looting. Okay, 
So yeah, I did miss a whole bunch of these. That is so cool. Nice. I got more circuits than I'll ever need. Well, I won't say that. Alright, so that is that. Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. Uh, I actually don't have the room on the ship for them anymore. Alright, what's my inventory? I can take one more. And I will. One more for the road. Alright, anything else? No. That's pretty scary when you see the, the shadows of the debris. Okay, which way did I come in? I came in that door, so... Let's do a quick save here. And... At least I know where to come for circuits. Let's go check the rest of this place out quickly. An extra pair of pair of suits. Don't really need them. And servos and stuff I can't really take. So I think that's gonna be gonna be it for this loot run. So I guess uh I'll meet you back at the station. Alright, here I am. I'm just uh just talking to the cargo bear now. Uh, this ship has a nice stable point one bar of atmosphere. Thank God I got the Eve suit, the potato suit, whatever you want to call it. But here we are. Now I was thinking about it. I got like, like three dozen circuits. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Might want to save them for upgrades for the mule whenever we get it. But speaking of upgrades, let's uh, swap these out. Actually, I don't have the space for it. I got uh, inventory problems. I'm full of circuits. Okay, those don't go up there. Huh. Um, but they will go up there. Okay, good. So we'll take these out. First of all, it was... We have 800,000 in the capacitor. That's with the station. I think it's 675 that we have. We'll just do this. We'll do the juggling act. And go on cold, code blue here. Power situation has been addressed. Oh. That's what I want down here. Sadly, I don't get any circuits from those things, but... Eh, they might come in handy for when something's wearing out. And uh, this one can go up top. And I'll grab uh, that one. And... 950, so it gave me an extra 150. It's not bad, so the ship actually has 650 now. It's good, it's got the tier 4 catalyst, which is awesome. Now, what else do I have here? I got the servo motors, got more catalysts I could add, or fuel generators. Uh, let me go get rid of these circuits and then we'll check out these parts. Alright, I'm just uh, processing the last of the electronics here. I have absolutely no idea how many I have. I think I got about 30. And I was thinking about what I'm going to do. Like I do have the containment field generators, the catalysts. Uh, I could use some stuff for the power supply. It might be a good idea, but I also like... So I got 28 circuits. I would also like to get uh, catalysts going on the solar panels, too, if I can. I do have two of the level 2s, or tier 2. And how much do they cost to make a tier 2? One. Now I have 16 solar panels, so that would give me an extra 60% of each one. So instead of doing 75, each one would be doing 125. So that would actually be a good idea. And then, I wouldn't mind getting a higher tier containment field generator for the power supply. Um, let me actually check the rest of the systems and see what I'm going to do here. Okay, here's what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, because none of these solar panels actually have uh, any catalysts in them, if I put a catalyst in them, they're going to give me an extra 
150 each. So that's that's pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a tier four resource injector for the power supply, and then I'm going to replace all the catalysts or the containment field generators with tier fours, and probably even the power supply too, just so I have a better pack up supply. Uh, with those changes, we should be generating three and a half thousand, which is pretty good power. So we should be able to have everything up and running. Uh, one of these solar panels has a the fire hazard. I don't know which one it is. But I got to deal with that, but that's depressurized, so who cares? I uh, might even, you know, the tier one to tier two is only ten percent, so it's not that big of a deal. So that's why I'm just going to make probably a dozen or so of these, which will take a few minutes, and then I'm probably probably going to make the tier four core containment field generator thingies bigger batteries it's not plain and simple all right i got them all made it did take a little while i did run out of carbon fibers believe it or not i was basically recycling everything that wasn't tied down uh, including a few warp cells but eh whatever i just remember if to start taking that shattered plating for more more often but that is it uh, I do have the power supply upgraded. I do have the ship upgraded. We have a substantial power supply. That's all I'm going to say. I have no idea what we're generating right now. Hopefully I can get inside before we get eclipsed. Oh, overshot it. Need afterburner RCS on these jetpacks. Just for when you overshoot it. Okay, back in we go. And I gotta admit, I am pretty good with, pretty happy with the numbers. I've already seen what the capacitor bank is at, and yeah, it's actually really good. Uh, I do know that it's not gonna last forever while we're in the dark around Bether, but that's if I got the refinery running and and what have you. But uh, light boat. Let's go and check it out. See what we got for juice. Yeah, 16 uh, catalysts. If I tried to make those out of tier twos, yeah, it would not have worked out too well. 3,000. Is that it? I thought we'd be doing more. Still, it's 3,000. We're using 1,000. And let's. Everything's turned on that I really need, but I think we can go all out. I think we have a full self-sustaining station now. Not that we need the, any, of the, uh, any of these modules on. But even then, we're still generating almost 700. And look at that, one and a half mil in the, the power bank. So that's awesome. And even then, when we're, when we're eclipsed, we can still run at about two and a half a second. So it'd give us some time before we black out, and that's what this current draw. But again, these don't actually need to be on because I don't use them. They're, I think those are the depressurized, depressurized ones. I think this is the one that's over at the door there. Other than that, the cargo bay doesn't need power. The power supply doesn't need power. Kind of sounds redundant. And even then, it lasts a thousand seconds which would be about 12 minutes, I guess. 12 minutes on ba battery backup, which is, again, great. I can always get another power supply, but yeah, the power supplies don't really have the power capacity. It's the ship, right? Like, uh, ship's got 1.1 million, but that comes in handy when you're jumping around all over the place using a tier four detonator at stage three. But with that, I'm going to call the episode here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.